just looking at it okay infective form is quaternucleate cyst what quadrateness man get infected by fecal oral route fecal oral route everybody man get infected in the fecal oral route when he eats food contaminated with cyst especially quaternucleate cyst quaternucleate cyst so it passes stomach without alteration in the small intestine the cyst it is called excystation what excystation cyst excystation what excystation so eight amebulae eight amebulae eight amebulae are released and they go to the descending colon they go to the descending colon and sigmoid colon descending colon or descending colon or sigmoid colon they go to descending colon and causes amoebic dysentery you should know the difference between diarrhea and dysentery what is diarrhea mm and that is not the definition world health organization has given a definition ah more than the time three times of the normal frequency what is your frequency every day frequency how many time you go to toilet if you get second time what you will do you will hold it back huh? okay <laughs> laugh like a round ah, ha, ha. <laughs> so more than uh, three times then the normal frequency is called diarrhea when uh, loose stool is mixed with blood and mucus it is called dysentery when it is mixed with blood and mucus it is called as dysentery dysentery there is one bacteria also which causes dysentery what is the name of the bacteria which causes dysentery then we ask you, know, you, you have, uh, have to see the portion what are that is uh, bacillary dysentery caused by shigella not shigella yes. not cinderella also yes. you know cinderella story what is cinderella story no uh, go and read cinderella story i am not here to tell you all the fairy stories and all those things so she will be she will be she has got a step mother she is treated badly and she has got step sisters so once uh, king arranges for one ballet dance in his uh, palace so king uh, fairy comes and she gives nice dress and shoes and uh, all his step mother tells you have to come back by 12 o'clock otherwise you will be punished so she leaves on shoes but uh, king get mesmerized with cinderella's beauty so pehla pyar dil mein reh gaya wo so she wanted to see trace cinderella and marry her so he one must while coming fast she forgets on the shoe in the palace and uh, and king sends all over the his kingdom the shoes for which it, this girl fits in she will marry finally cinderella will get married to king that is a cinderella story it is not cinderella here shigella shigella ah shigella shigella causes vasculitis so it gives rise to flash shaped ulcer flash flash shaped ulcer in the 
intestine. Okay, flash shaped ulcer in the intestine. Through the portal vein, they escape and they go to the liver. They go to the liver and cause liver abscess. Liver abscess. Go to the liver and cause liver abscess. From liver abscess, they break down into the lungs. And cause lung abscess. Lung abscess. They give rise to lung abscess. They go to the lungs and give rise to lung abscess. Through the and they, when they break down into the blood vessels, they go to the brain and cause brain abscess. And when they through the blood, they can give rise to subphrenic abscess, diaphragm, subphrenic abscess. Direct to the skin, they cause amoeboma. 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 Direct spread to the skin underneath, it causes amoeboma. So, Life cycle of amoebic parasite is man get infected by fecal root. Everybody, man get infected by fecal root. Existation occur in the small intestine. Eight amoebae are released. The habitat is descending colon and uh, descending colon, uh, descending colon and the sigmoid colon. They cause bacillary dysentery, and uh, they also cause the lysis, they produce enzyme called histolysis. They lysis the tissue and give rise to flash shaped also. Through portal vein, they go to liver, liver abscess. They break down into lung, lung abscess. Through blood circulation, they go to the brain, brain abscess, kidney abscess. Anywhere, anywhere in the body, they can go to abscess. So, man get, uh, again, it is passed over the feces. So, the further development, there is no intermediate host as well. And so, it development stays in the soil. So, if anybody, when you go to the hotel, when you ask for water or food, you, you must you see, see, there is a food hygiene or uh, if you ask for a glass of water, you will have uh, five fingers dipped in a glass, you will put it like this. So, in one he has parasite, one he has bacteria, one he has virus, one he has microbiology at fingertips. And uh, if he says, uh, Wash your hand and bring it water. And just now I washed with what you I washed with my sweater. So, so Belpuri and Pani Puri, it is all mixed with sweat. sweater. They'll put like this and put it with a masala. That is a masala, you know. So, laboratory diagnosis of uh, uh, amoebic liver amoebic amoebiasis is due to due to you do iodine preparation, this is cover slip and saline preparation. Saline preparation for trophozoid and iodine preparation for the cyst. And uh, prophylaxis and prevention, wash your hands, go to the good place where food is hygienic and uh, take care of yourself. And uh, you see that uh, you don't get infected with amoebiasis. So, this is about amoebiasis. If you write this much, it's uh, Next is malaria. I've taken 20 minutes. Malaria is named after malair. Malair means bad air. Malair means bad air. Bad air. And uh, this was uh, man get infected. There are five plasmodium feces. Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, Plasmodium falsiferum, Plasmodium malaria, and Plasmodium novelacy. Okay. Vivax, ovale, falsiferum, malaria, or novelacy. 
so you can make a mnemonic like this v o f m can make any mnemonic no in this you can make any more mnemonic anybody bright idea intelligent person you are all intelligent you know handsome and beautiful huh? no huh? laughing at yourself everybody should have dream and goal in life so what do you want to become after your course what do you want to whether you want to go to us or go to saudi arabia or go to european country what do you want to do what a speciality you are doing radiology yeah, radiology radiology got must money hai bahut paisa hai radiology mein so you are going to do a lot of money i mean jab bhi car mein ghumte ho na yaad rakhne ka ho chalo uh, the this uh, all three they give rise to intermittent fever once in 3 days once in 3 days whereas uh, this is once in 4 days this is once in 24 hours once in 4 hours once in 4 hours 341 remember 341 okay now falciparum is very dangerous the gametocyte looks like banana or fox like this and there is no recurrence of falciparum but it is very dangerous because schizogony takes place in the brain giving rise to cerebral malaria give rise to and kidneys uh, it gives rise to black water it gives rise to black water fever it gives rise to black water fever gives rise to black water fever okay now life cycle is very important that is often asked in your examination man get infected by the bite bite of man get infected importance is attendance everyone will have man get infected by the bite of female anopheles mosquito You ask me why not male? Why why only female? Ask me. Because female needs human blood for laying eggs. Necessity is mother of invention. Okay. So after getting into the human body, they go to the liver. Hepatocytes. they go to liver hepatocytes where they multiply and thousands of merozoites are liberated how many thousands of merozoites thousands of merozoites are liberated and they attack rbc this is only diagrammatic representation rbc liver is so small rbc is so big No, RBC is seven micron okay, size. In RBC, you see early ring stage. Prophozoite. Uh, 
and Shaizan. Shizan, Shaizan. And Shaizan burst giving rise to gametocytes. Male and female gametocytes. And again, merozoids. Some of the merozoids go back to the liver and where they sleep as hypnozoids, except in Plasmodium falciparum. There is no recurrence. There is no recurrence. Uh, underline this. There is no recurrence in Plasmodium falciparum. So these gametocytes are sucked up by the mosquito. So male and female of gametocytes meet and form zygote. Zygote get transformed into mukinate and it pierces the stomach wall, comes in the peritoneal, extra peritoneal, extra peritoneal cavity. It's transformed into oocyst. What is that? Oocyst. Oocyst burst giving rise to Porozoids. Again, bites the man. So, repeat with me life cycle of malaria the pad. Man get infected by the bite of female anaphylis mosquitoes. And they go to the liver. This is called as pre-erythrocytic cycle, where they multiply in the hepatocytes. After seven to nine days, thousands of mirozoites are liberated. They go to the RBCs. First, they transform into early ring stage, prohozoite. Shizon, Shizon burst, bursting of the Shizons coincide with the fever with chills and dragus. Fever, fever and chills and dragus. Some of the, uh, some of them are transformed into merozoids and gametocytes. Merozoids attack the new RBC. Some of them go back to the liver, except in falciparum, where they lie as hypnozoids. That's why recurrence is common except in falciparum. So, gametocytes are sucked up, everybody, gametocytes are sucked up by the, the mosquito during the mud, blood meal. They get transformed into uh, zygote, ukinate, ukinate pierces the stomach wall, comes into the extra peritoneal uh, cavity. Here it will transform into oocyst, oocyst burst, releasing sporozoid. Then sp when man mosquito bites and it gives rise to malaria in man. So what are the clinical manifestations of malaria? It gives rise to anemia because of RBCs are broken down. It gives rise to because hepatocytes are enlarged, hepatosplenomegaly and black water fever in falciparum and uh, cerebral malaria. So, uh, sometimes it is uh, so large, uh, people will die because of cerebral malaria. That's one of it. Labyrinth diagnosis is done by peripheral smear. We do two smears, thick and thin smear, stained with Jimsa stain. Uh, the thick smear is done to identify the parasite. Thin smear is done to find out the uh, species of the parasite. This is a thick parasite and this is the thick and thin parasite. Thick and thin parasite stain with Jimsa stain or Leishman stain and look for the species and Another one is QBC. 
quantitative buffer and this the capillaries are coated with acridine orange fluorescent dye acridine orange acridine orange they are centrifuges seen under fluorescent microscope they fluoresce like a stars they fluoresce like a star and now treatment is uh, we give chloroquine four tablets followed by two tablets six hour one bd for three days they become resistant to chloroquine and uh, we give uh, mepacrine and uh, primaquine for the liver cycle nowadays we are doing artisanate compounds artinoids that will be taught in your pharma anti malarial they will be taught in the your pharmacological classes next you read what is the next Parasitology first. Yes. Then means okay. Then means so uh, parasites are classified uh, broadly into two types: protozoology, that is unicellular, the parasite which I taught you, entamoeba and malaria are unicellular. helminths are multicellular so helminths are classified intestinal i am not this is only diagrammatic intestine is intestinal and extra intestine extra intestinal and extra intestinal 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 extra intestinal intestinal remember with the mnemonic yeast you you enjoyed that army can protect uh, queen servant man and god antibiotics army can protect the queen man guard and servant queen quinolones queen okay e stands for endrobius vermicularis endrobius vermicularis e stands for endrobius vermicularis e stands for Entrobius vermicularis. E stands for. It is also called as pinworm, threadworm, seedworm. Pinworm, threadworm, seedworm. Pinworm, threadworm, seedworm. It gives rise to perianal itch. You know what is perianal region? Anus. Anus, not anus. Anus. Perianal region. it gives rise to itching in the perianal area what do you do shravan when you get perianal itch it is very embarrassing isn't it so i ask when sometimes even medical student when i ask what is a what to treat, how do you treat perianal itch they say itch guard so <laughs> they should not tell okay so they are there is common in children because of auto infection no they scratch here without washing hand they eat auto infection and uh, eggs are embedded in the perianal area in female it migrates to the urethra and gives rise to nocturnal aneurysis frequent passage of urine in the night okay and uh, sometimes eggs are demonstrated by using NIH sir NIH stands for National Institute of Health NIH stands for National Institute of Health NIH stands for National Cellophane tube you nicely swab and the cellophane tube you prepare this cellan preparation the eggs are plano convex non balanced
एक्स आर प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स नॉन बाइल स्टेट एक्स आर प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स एंड नॉन बाइल स्टेट नेक्स्ट इज एस्कैरिस लुम्रिकॉर्डस एस्कैरिस एस्कैरिस लुम्रिकॉर्डस एस्कैरिस लुम्रिकॉर्डस राउंड वॉक एस्कैरिस लुम्रिकॉर्डस एस्कैरिस लुम्रिकॉर्डस Ascaris lumbricordis, round worm, because it is round. Ascaris lumbricordis, it is round in shape. That's why it's called round worm. Man get infected. ठीक है. By fecal oral route, man get infected by fecal oral route. Infective form is bile stained embryonated egg. Man get infected. by consumption of food and water which contains bile stain embryonated so another egg is also there which is elliptical which is non bile stain which is bile stain if you see only non bile stain egg it means it is unfortunate it is do not have male to copulate and uh, produce embryonated egg okay so no intermediate host for the development take place in the soil so when manure is the manure is, is put for as the feces so when vegetable grown on that without washing vegetables we need to get end round worm infection okay so uh, it is present in the intestine habitat is in the intestine infective form is uh, embryonated egg it gives rise to some um, upset of the stomach diarrhea and sometimes intestinal obstruction and can give rise to appendicitis but life cycle is very important it will not go to the intestine uh they develop into male and female they go to lung <coughs> and gives rise to lawless pneumonia in the lung again they creep to rachia come back to the esophagus and they develop male and female so repeat with man get infected by consumption of egg embryonated egg and uh, they go to the intestine from the intestine they migrate to the lungs and come back to the intestine develop into the male and female worm the uh, lab diagnosis is done by demonstration of eggs in the saline preparation prophylaxis and prevention is you have to wash your hands vegetable should be washed food should be clean and uh, uh, treatment is albendazole 400 mg once in a 6 months everybody should take it accidentally may have worms in your albendazole safe drug safe drug albendazole or mebendazole one bd per three days next is uh, three hookworms three hookworms ankylostoma duodenale nectar americanus strongyloides stercolaris strongyloides stercolaris
man get infected man everybody man get infected when he walks barefooted on fecally contaminated soil this filariform larva present in the the soil it pierces the skin go to the lungs to the venous circulation and migrate to through esophagus come back to the intestine and where they develop into male and female adult form hookworm hookworms all three enclostoma duodenal nectar americanus tonglet the anterior end is hooked hold like this anterior end is hooked anterior end is hooked what is other example of hook 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 example other example of hook where else other hook is used okay so they suck the blood in the intestine and uh, give rise to hypochromic normocytic anemia hypochromic anemia hypochromic microcytic anemia hypochromic iron deficiency anemia they suck blood and gives rise to iron deficiency anemia lab diagnosis is done by saline examination it gives rise to non bile stained egg non bile stained egg non bile stained egg non bile stained egg which has got four how many four blastomeres four blastomeres the lab diagnosis is done by same treatment is same tablet of albendazole once in a week once in six months what it is next is trichuris trichura trichuris everybody trichuris trichuris trichura trichuris trichura it is called whip worm it is called chabuk whip worm the posterior end is thick the anterior end is thin posterior end is thick anterior end is thin it produces it gives rise to barrel shaped egg with mucus pug at both ends it is bile stained so everybody repeat with man get infected by consumption of food and water contaminated with bile stained eggs of tichuris tichura or whipworm so life cycle is not very complicated in the intestine they develop male and female adult worm and copulate and produce egg and further development takes place in the soil okay so uh soil abdominal discomfort diarrhea malabsorption all those things that is last one is trichinella spiralis trichinella spiralis commonly called as trichinella worm man get infected by eating pork eating pork contaminated pork so he gets this uh, worm develops into the muscle mass this is trichinella 
parallels. To see this uh, larval form, you have to do CT scan and uh, do my muscle biopsy to, di to diagnose this. This is about the intestine. How many are? Seven. Repeat with me, seven. Entrobase vermicularis. Hold like this. Entrobase vermicularis. Ascaris lumbricoides. Ankylostoma duodenale. Stronglotus circularis. Pituris tritura. Tuchinella spiralis. Counted. How many are there? One, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Six, you said. Last one you did not count. Seven. The extra intestinal are two. How many? Two. two. Filarial worm and guinea worm. Filarial worm and guinea worm. The filarial worm, uh, there are three important filarial worm. Remember, anybody plays cricket here? Cricket, cricket. You play. Uh, what is LBW? Mm. Okay. Leg before, lemon before wicket. <laughs> Once I asked what is LBW, students said lemon given before stumps. Hmm? It is loa loa, not lau lau. Loa loa. Somebody has written PG, MD microbial has written ola ola for loa loa. Brugia malai. Ola ola is a taxi. Ola and Uber are taxis. Burjia Malai and Uchireria Bankrupt. Bangalore is a Mahadevan. So, what is it? Uh, Uchireria Malai. Mm. So, these are all sheathed microfile area. These are all sheathed the microfile area. These are all sheathed the microfile area. Sheathed the microfile area. Sheathed the microfile area. Sheathed the microfile area. Okay. There are other also onchocerca valvulus. Loa loa and uh, onchocerca valvulus gives rise to blindness. Blindness. Septosarca, septosarca, all so many are there, but important to remember this. So, life cycle man get infected by the bite of Culex mosquito. Culex fatigans, Culex. Mosquito. Man get infected. Infective form is L3 larva. And habitat of this parasite is lymphatics, lymphatic channels and lymph nodes. Lymphatic channels and lymph nodes. And the drainage of the lower limbs get blocked. The leg becomes swollen. It looks like an elephant leg. It looks like an elephant leg. It is also called as elephantiasis. It is also called as elephantiasis. It is also called as elephantiasis. So, life cycle of everybody. Life cycle of filariasis is it's also called as Uchireria bankrupti. Man get infected by the fem uh, bite of uh, Culex mosquito. And it goes to lymphatics and lymph nodes. Lymph nodes and uh, uh, gives rise to lymphangitis, lymphadenitis, blockage of lymph channels. 
blockage of and uh, uh, leg give egg be leg become swollen it looks like an elephant leg it's called as elephantiasis the treatment is hetrazan diethyl carmazine so you have to do the smear and stain and demonstrate demonstrate microfilaria and the peripheral smear microfilaria and the peripheral smear microfilaria is peripheral microfilaria and the peripheral smear microfilaria and the peripheral smear the last one in the helminths is it's called drakenkles meninensis drakenkles are commonly called as guinea worm man get infected by drinking water which contains cyclops which contains man get infected by drinking water which contains cyclops man get infected by drinking water which contains cyclops so male worm they are not this is a longest uh, helminth very long longest nematode and it comes it comes out of the looks like an frogs like it comes out where it comes in contact with to the skin and through the ulcer it forms ulcer in the skin in the water larvae are released and they go into the cyclops again man get infected by drinking water which contains cyclops so if you go to a village where uh, drinking and uh, bathing is occurring in the same water what you will do there is only one source for drinking and bathing what you will do as a community health worker what you will do shravanan ha huh? educator huh? literacy rate is very poor ha huh? then any other suggestions no what filter ah filter is very can purify as 13 14000 is not possible any other suggestions ha huh? what what is that bleaching ah huh? how do you prevent bathing and drinking from the same source convert open well into bore well simple convert or well with this is a source close the river or pond cover it and put up pipes one side used for drinking another side for bathing the other thing is best method is take a nice cloth cotton cloth filter through it cyclops are quite big enough in the cloth you can filter the cyclops so this finishes helminthology parasitology completely according to your syllabus with this background you read parasitology and whatever parasitology question everybody answer one one question come and show to me no nobody will do it thank you very much for patient hearing nice time you had i finished in 40 minutes